<laughs> so I'll just kind of keep it this way. You're going to take the quantum vacuum fluctuations that we know as quantum noise, or shot noise in laser beams. You're going to pile it up somewhere else uh, in an area you're not interested in measuring. And you only want to measure the amplitude of that beam. And at that point, when you take the quantum vacuum fluctuations out of that amplitude, that energy density goes negative. And the energy density is the square of the amplitude. So that goes negative. And um, that's an example of negative energy. The, um, the mass of the Earth creates space-time curvature. If it was, I'm sorry. Oh, I was going to say, so that space-time curvature, which we feel is the force of gravity on the surface of the Earth, drags down to our vacuum fluctuations of the quantum fields that are out in space near, near the Earth, in the vicinity of the Earth. And uh, that energy density happens to be negative. And so this is an example of theoretically predicted astronomical sources of negative energy as well as uh, planetary sources of negative energy. So that's what you would need to build a warp boat. And that's what you would need to build a uh, construct a shell 